Hi, it's Deanna Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Jujube haul. This one's a decent sized one. Um, this mostly comes from the recent Jujube warehouse sale, which has actually been a week or two now. But they've had some delays and they're owning it, but they're just with the COVID and the warehouse rules and separation, they're having a little trouble getting everything out the door. Um, plus the immense response they've had from everything. Um, yeah, anyways, so I'm not complaining. That's just the fact of life. I'm a patient person, but I've been waiting. I, I placed separate four orders because I was trying to be good, but then I went back and got more and they changed things during the sale. Like they added things to the sale and they restocked some things. And so then I had to buy more. <laughs> yeah, you know how it goes. But anyways, so two of my orders are here and two are still pending. And so there is a lot of stuff to come still. Um, but let's go through this because I'm tired of staring at on my table waiting for the rest. Let's just get this half done. Um, but before we get to the warehouse sale haul, so I love the community of things. Like I am fiercely independent and totally happy on my own, but I'm a social creature too. And the joy and passion of things is much greater to me when it's shared with others. And well, one, that's like part of the whole genesis for this channel. But but so when you get into a certain brand or type of things and you find a group that is like-minded, like the Jujube Pink Ladies or the Jujube Community, the, the Lug Nuts, Lug Nut, Lug Nut Lounge, the Vera Bradley groups, whatever. So, you know, find your people and share with them and enjoy them. Well, anyways, sometimes in those groups, you'll find someone that's not a buy and sell thing, but once in a while a trade pops up. Like with the Lug gives those complimentary pens. And sometimes you have a bunch of one, but you want another. So you, you make contact with each other and you do an even swap. Like no money, anything, you just, yeah. That's what happened here. So this lovely lady, um, it's even a better story than just a pure swap. We were having a discussion on the um, GGB page. One of the pages, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was a community. But anyway, um, I was saying something about coin purses and... Oh, I remember, sorry, <laughs> brain fart. Um, so we were talking about how if you buy from the smaller retailers who sell the GGB, then if you spend $100, you get a free coin purse. That's very typical. Well, it took me a while to figure that out. I did not know that. I generally was buying straight from GGB, and I, I think I got a coin purse like one time. So I couldn't figure out where everybody was getting these coin purses. So you get into the discussions, you're asking questions and figured it out. But meanwhile, people get them for free and then they sell them for 30, 40, 50 bucks for something they got for free. So it's again, that greedy flipping thing. Um, but yeah, so that's most of my coin purses. I paid 20 bucks for something that someone got for free plus shipping on some of them. So anyway, we were talking about that and I wasn't pissing and moaning. I was just saying, you know, it just kind of sucks that, you know, that's the way it is. And I understand that GGB wants to help push business to those smaller retailers. I think that's great. I don't have a problem with that, but I don't understand why they can't also be available, even just for purchase on the GGB site. Um, anyways, so we were talking about that and she goes, well, I'll just send you one. Well, that's just, that's just the sweetest thought. So this lady, Kelly, was just going to give me a coin purse just because we were having a discussion. And so we ended up in a separate chat and I just said, well, that's just the sweetest thing and so very thoughtful and kind and generous. Um, but I feel guilty. Like, I don't, I don't want to just take something. Um, like, if I was in need, that's a different story. But no, I, this is just something we were talking about. I, I didn't. Um, so I said, how about if I make you a bag charm? And so I made one of my new hobbies and uh, I sent that to her and she sent me the coin purse. Well, then I get the package and check this out. This sweet lady, who is just sweeter than sweet to start with, got even sweeter. She just said, Michelle, I decided that you needed all three of them because she was giving me three to pick from. Um, feel free to trade them if they aren't your style, Kelly. I, I'm sorry, but I just share that story because I, I just love people who are thoughtful and kind and generous, not greedy and evil, maniacal and whatever. And so, yay! Good people in the world. All right, so she sent me a prism rose, which I do already have, but I do like very much. And this little gem is already now gonna be traded for a Hello Kitty Stripes from someone else in a totally different discussion. So thank you very much, Kelly, for that. Um, this one I actually don't know the name of. Um, it, 
it's new, but there's the no tag. But that's okay. I like it very much. I like my blacks and my dark colors, and this will go with some of my blacks and browns. It, it's like a copper color, and I will look it up. I will find out. But anyways, I don't know the name of this one. And this last one was the one that I chose because I love the Sakura at dusk, and, and today being Easter um, is very appropriately floral-oriented. So anyways, I'm really excited. This was the one I asked for and, and got the bonuses. So thank you again, Kelly, for that. And speaking of coin purses, with the warehouse sale, as they started getting things out, maybe just on a whim or maybe because they already started to see that they were gonna have shipping delays. I don't know the reason, but I do know that Log, I mean, not Log, <laughs> love Log, uh, but Jujube, um, they decided to randomly put a bonus gift, a coin purse, in some of the orders. And one of my two orders did come with one, so I got a coin purse, from Jujube, yay! And um, I got Wonder Woman, which I have mixed feelings about. Um, but yeah, so it's beautiful, colorful, very, yeah, very multicolored. So on this side I have more of like the blues, greens, yellows with some of the red, and then the opposite on the other side I got. So I got the Spectrum. Um, and the inside of this, I don't wanna open this because I do wanna trade this one maybe. I love rainbows. I, I, I've mentioned it before. Um, but I have like some childhood art. Maybe if I can find a picture of it, I'll put it on the thumbnail so you may or may not have seen that and that's what that is. I used to just, I used to have rainbows in all my drawings and I just love colorful things. And um, I also support LGBTQ, whatever you wanna call any piece or part or addition to that. I just think that people are people, you do you, love is love. I'm all about that and that's fine. Don't push it on anyone else of either way, anyway. Um, but they kind of hijacked the rainbow thing. And so I sort of have a different thought about you know, wearing rainbow stuff now. Uh, it's not that I disapprove of that community. I just, I just feel slighted that now I can't have rainbow just for the sake of a rainbow. Now you're, you're wearing a flag for something that you may not even know about. Anyways, that, that's my thoughts on that. <laughs> so I'll get off my horse. But everybody, be kind, be loving. Okay, so this coin purse I purchased, and um, I, I gotten on this Cheerios kick. Um, it started with the Juju B and their, their um, rewards midi backpack. Love the midi backpack. Decided to get the tweeting pretty because I thought, well, you know, um, I'm pretty deep into this. I'm a pink lady now, and I'm going to get this because you could only get it with your rewards. So I spent like 10,000 rewards points or whatever it was, and I got the midi backpack. Turns out later they sold it anyways. Uh, they sold it other way. You didn't have to be a rewards person to get it. So I kind of felt bummed about that. But So it's not exclusive anymore, but I thought it was. But that broke the seal on the yellows because yellow is not really my thing. So I'll put a link right here where I got that haul and talked a little bit about how I was breaking into that. But this one matches with it. And so I saw this Cheerios one and I thought, well, I can do some mixy matching coordinating patterns if I have a little bit of this and a little bit of the tweeting pretty. Um, so I did that. But then I started really just liking the Cheerios, and I'm still not a big fan of yellow. It's still not my thing, but black, white, gray, I do like, and I have a lot of. But, um, so this says, it has all these circles, it's all circles, um, and it says, be original, be you, be happy, be bold. And I, I just fell in love with the theme of that. But this has a um, bold yellow interior. Oh my gosh, this is all tangled up in here. But it is a... It's yellow. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, we got a whole bunch of coin purses and we haven't even gotten to the haul yet. But I also got the Be Quick in the same, new with tags. Um, I got this on one of the resell, I can't remember which one. I think eBay. That could have been Mercari, but anyway. I tried to stay away from those and I pulled back again out of that. The other thing with the warehouse sale was that if you used the Pink Lady code, you got a free petite backpack. So... This retailed for, I think it was $25. This one is Queen of the Nile, but it's just this adorable little petite backpack. So if you have littles, this is a great size for your itty bitties, you know, your toddlers or your youngsters. Um, but if you're a big girl like me, and I don't just mean like big, large, I mean big adult, <laughs> you can use this for yourself. It's a great little purse bag. Um, just a quick grab and go kind of thing, a bag in a bag, you know, if you have a bigger thing and you're out and about. Anyways, I think it's great. And I'm really excited about it. I have a couple of them now, but I'm a big fan of the Queen of the Nile. So 
This one has gold fittings on the outside, but the silver interior, so that's kind of cool. But it's a simple little bag. It's got the front pocket, and it's got the main pocket. And that's it. There's no organization and anything like that, but it's a tiny but mighty kind of bag. I mean, look at the, the depth and width of that across the bottom. I mean, it's a good size. You can definitely fit some stuff in there. It has a top grab handle. There's seatbelt straps, and they're pretty adjustable. And they're tethered ends, you know, they're within the, the system here. So you don't have loose ends. You have to worry about snapping or auto loosening or anything. And just to show, I'm just going to put it all the way loose, like as long as it'll go. But look how long these straps are. Oops, hang on, let me zip it up. This is a single zipper. That's one thing. I do kind of wish it had a double zipper on top, but it's, it's simple. It's small and simple. But I can put this on, and again, very generously sized, so it's great. I like it to hang low, and so I just have this cute little backpack. Yeah, so yeah, I got a couple more of these. I got this one, and then I bought two others that were on sale. But this one I got for free, so yay, thank you, doo -doo -doo. The rest is all from the warehouse sale. Backpacks, you know I love backpacks. This is Fantasy Paradise in the Zealous bag. Um, this is one of the Tokidoki patterns, so you got all these different Tokidoki things. The Zealous is a large or extra large bag. It's one of my favorite backpacks from Jujubee. And this Jujubee has been doing a fun zipper pulls. This one is not changeable ones. Let me see if I'm lying. No. Yeah, but if you can, you know, do some metal work, you can change those out for some of the other fun Tokidokis. But these ones are all the octopus dude. The octopus pirate and it's fun but I love this pattern because one I love like aquas and teals and blues and I love fun colorful things I fell in love with Tokidoki all the cute characters um, but you have like mozzarella and Donatella and yeah the cactus friends unicornos I mean there's just so much to it and you've got like um, treasure island and pirates and castles and fantasy stuff you know you've got dragons and barbarian viking things and yeah it's you know you got a little winter scene in here and you've got the meadow and yeah i mean pretty much every time you look at this you'll see something different which is fun here's a big picture of the dragon for example right here you got the the big dragon and a castle and you have a king uh yeah it's fun and a knight on a horse well it's a unicorn -o. you got myrmicorns yeah anyway so this bag has a nice top carry handle that has this um, exterior material on it it's a seatbelt strap otherwise but that gives it a nice grab to it the straps themselves are padded these ones are not meshed the back is not meshed or quilted or padded or anything like that it's pretty simple i i'm not a big fan of these particular fittings um the loops i have to add another fitting on here that holds that in so these don't auto loosen but I have those fixtures available. You buy, them, buy a bag of them on Amazon. But it is comfortable enough to wear. And the other parts of this, they have good organization. So you have this front pocket that's just a pocket, but you can see that interior. It's such a pretty color. It's like that teal. And then the second pocket is a double zipper. So there's the other one, but double zipper. And you open this up, this is your parent pocket. So you've got your bungee key clip. You've got a zipper pocket and two slips right here. And these are gusseted, so they will hold a small set piece, no problem, they're great. And then you actually can fit your large set piece in this pocket, which has its own gusset as well. So a lot of space in that pocket, which is great. All these little plastic things are coming off the zipper poles, so that's why they're not so sticky. Okay, and then above that, you have your main pocket, and it is also double zipper pull but they're, they're all pushed to one side on this particular bag at the moment. But you can see they zip all the way down so you really can get access to the bag really, really well. You can get all the way down inside, but it's gusseted, so unlike the BRB, it's not just gonna lay flat open. And this is my preference, actually. Um, yeah, so there you go. But while we're here, you can see the, the base of the bag. It's quite large. And inside, you have lots of great organization. So on the front first, you have two elastic mesh pockets. On the back, you have two elastic mesh pockets plus a solid material big pocket behind it. It does come with a changing mat. This one is just a mat, it's not padded. 
but it is, you know, you got your pattern and you got the backing, so you can use it as a picnic mat, a craft mat, a, you know, whatever you want, or you can send it into someplace like Happy Hippo or another um, and do some custom pieces for yourself in a matching pattern for your bag. Um, and then it has these elastic right here. You can put anything you want there, you know, roll up a blanket or a sweatshirt or put your wipes pouch there or whatever. Um, the back has just a little bit of padding, so if you wanted to put a laptop in this compartment, you could, and then you just can put it up behind this pouch. Um, I'm just going to put this back in that big slip right here, because then I will always know where to find it. And like I said, you can tuck it up behind there, no problem. What this is right there is this top pocket that is soft lined, and it's just a big pocket on the top right here so share space with the interior but that's not a problem generally but that's your quick access pocket your phone your glasses whatever on the top of the bag so you can get to them quickly and easily and they're not going to get squashed by everything else because it is a big bag the other thing about this bag it is it has two cargo pockets on it they are elastic cargo pockets pretty generous size and it has also rings on the side, which you can use to carry it like a crossbody or, or over the shoulder with a strap you have to buy separately. Or you can use that with stroller straps and just hang it on the back of your stroller, your walker, your scooter, your whatever. You can hang it on whatever you want. Okay, Harry Potter. And while we're on the subject of Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Vera is coming out with, I think it's called Herbology, I'm not certain, but Coming next month, there is another Vera Bradley Harry Potter pattern. Um, and Jujubee's coming out with another Harry Potter pattern. And in May, I'm actually going to Orlando and I'm going to see Harry Potter and his friends at Universal. So, yay, very excited. Okay, that being said, I am a fan of Harry Potter and I wasn't a huge fan of pink. So I stayed away from the Honey Dukes. Um, just because of that. I mean, I like it. I think it's cute. I think it's a great accessory for other bags. Like you can use it with some of the Tokidoki stuff in the pinks, but it just, it didn't grab me like straight up. I thought, you know, in pieces I could handle it. Um, just cause it's so pink, but I love it. Anyways, the more I look at it, the more I love it, but I stayed away from it. And then it went on sale and it was a great, great price. And I like the zipper pulls and yeah. So now I have a bunch of honey dukes funny thing but I also talked myself into it because I have a bunch of nieces and they love pink one of them in particular is a pinkaholic so this will not go to waste one way or another it's a great thing so this is the B set and you can see all the cute candy pieces and the zipper pulls are chocolate frogs so just a nice it's a good zipper pull they're in the silver I like Harry Potter and Juju B on the back uh, but I really like them and then inside is fun too you have the white with the green and pink stripes, which is, it's just fun and happy. And it's light interior. As always, these are waterproof, um, Teflon treated, and the inside has an antimicrobial um, treatment as well. But this, the B sets come with the short strap and the long strap, and they are three pouches. So there's your medium set piece and your small set piece. So pretty standard there. Now the set pieces do normally have like the metal plates on them. This particular one has an embroidered tag on it, but I, I love it just the way it is. And the same on the large set piece. The small one's a side tag as always. Okay, so let me put these back in here. Put the tags in there with it. All right, so we got that and then I got the quick because these are great for organizing things. You also can use them as a crossbody bag. You can use the large set piece as well the same way, but this comes with a short strap and a long strap. The difference between the Be Quick and the Be Set is the size. So here they are side by side. So you have your small, medium, and large set piece, and then this becomes like an extra large set piece, if you will, with the fully detachable straps on it now. And the only other difference is inside, this one has a zipper privacy pocket as well on the side. So that is cool. And I'm just gonna leave that like that. The next thing I got, <laughs> a petite. And this one I specifically got with one of my nieces in mind because she is a pink gal. And I really like these straps with the woven straps with the pink and green. I just think that gives a nice sharp pop of color. And one thing I'm noticing about these straps is they can flip around in there. That's okay. 
All right, so I may keep this, but more than likely this is directly gonna be a gift for my niece's birthday coming up later this year. We'll see. But I also got the Freedom 2-in-1 belt bag, which I, I'm not really a big belt bag person. I like the option, and now that I'm skating, I will probably start carrying them more. More than likely, though, I'll keep using my mini slings as a sling rather than on my waist. We'll see. But I do like this as an organizational piece because it's great. And you can use it as a little crossbody bag or other things. But it is set up with these two little loops, so it has a removable strap that it comes with. Um, and I just think, you know, it's cute. It's a good size and it has a little bit of depth to it. So it will hold quite a little bit. And the strap is like this. So I actually bought this because I wanted this strap so I could use this strap with my quick or my large set piece as a crossbody with this strap. Because I thought this would be so much cuter than just a plain, you know, strap. Anyways. This has just a slip right here as organization, but it's pretty good. All right, so we got that. And we got the Zealous because I love the Zealous. Um, I have no idea which Harry Potter stuff I'm going to take next month when I go travel. That is gonna be a hard decision for sure. Oh, and this one has the, the straps on the bottom that are woven as well. Same with the top handle. So not just a straight up seatbelt strap on this one. This one is a little bit, well, I would say a lot. It's a lot better quality of a strap compared to the Fantasy Paradise. The Fantasy Paradise was just the material and actually was kind of a slickier feel. And it just had the padding with a sewn stripe down the middle. So it's pretty simple. This is much more robust. It's also more padded and it has the mesh. So a little bit more breathability and comfort on your shoulders, which I think is great. And I'm happy to see that they made that um, upgrade to the bags. Obviously, this is a newer pattern, so there you go. Okay, so that's it for Honey Dukes, but it's not it for Harry Potter because Harry Potter um, also came in other patterns. And I did some reach back on this as well. This was one that I knew I liked because teals and blues and, you know, general Harry Potter theme. So it's not house specific. It's great for any Harry Potter lover. I mean, you've got the train, Hogwarts Express, you've got um, Hedwig, you've got the trunk, you've got glasses, you've got the lightning bolts, you've got all kinds of the newspapers, the flying car, you've got platform nine and three quarters, London to Hogwarts, you've got the mail, you've got just so many things. So this is really fun. This is the quick and the same thing as we just saw. Um, but as you can see, like I was saying, normally you have a metal plate of different size and shape on it. So this one just says Harry Potter on it. And the zipper pulls on this one are Hedwig with wings spread, which is lovely. And then inside is platform nine and three quarters, sort of yellow brick theme with the luggage carts and tickets and the daily profit. And yeah, so, but it's light colored and fun, super fun. Okay, so that's the be quick. I also got the petite backpack. So these are the two that I actually paid for, but they were both on sale, so I paid like I don't know, 10 or 12 bucks for them. So it was better than half off, which to me was, I mean, that's 10 bucks. That's totally worth 10 bucks. Definitely. Also got the Freedom 2-in-1 belt bag. Same thing. This one comes with a plain seat belt strap, but it does match. And of course I can mix and match and use whatever strap I want with whichever bag I want. So we'll do that. And then the last item I got in the bags is the Zealous in the same because Zealous. Now this one also does show the different zipper pulls and it. it's on the other bag too, I just didn't think to show it. So it has Hedwig with the, um, with the uh, what you call it, with the inlay color on it, but then it also has the platform nine and three quarters tag zipper pull. That's platform nine and three quarters, which is the name of this pattern too, if I didn't say that. so. There you go. And this one also has those nicer straps as well. So yay, a lot of fun stuff. Now, the last thing in this haul is I got two zipper pull blind boxes. These are ones I don't have. I, I really have, I think I have one thing from Team Toki, which is Toki Doki, but in the like athletic thing. I think I just got a B set and that was it. And it's not because I didn't like it. It was just a little too busy and, and you know, it was like city themed, but it was very Tokyo based, I think, because it was 
my guess is is set up to support the Olympics and all the sports. But anyway, um, I kind of laid off it. But then I signed up for this Air Force Wounded Warrior Sports thing. And I signed up for a bunch of different sports. And I'm hoping to make the team, which we will see next month or later this month sometime. But if I do, then I have a whole set of new Team Toki stuff from the warehouse sale that I will take with me. So anyways, that stuff has not arrived yet, but it was a great price. And um, but I got the zipper pulls because I decided regardless of any of that, that I wanted to make more bag charms and I can use these on any Tokidoki or any bag for that matter. So blah, blah, blah. Here it comes, the blind boxes. These retail for $20 a piece and they come with three pieces in them. And they are blind, so you don't know what you're going to get. I hope these are different. But there are nine different characters you can get. And so looking at them at the same time as you, we've got Biscotti, Donatino, Mozzarella, Surf Star, Donatella, Kickstar, Sandy, Super Panda, and Chow Chow are on the bottom there. And those are Chasers, which I just assume means super rare. Um, so I'm hoping for basketball, because that's my sport, so Super Panda. I like mozzarella because volleyball is my other sport. And I like Donatella even though I'm not a tennis star. And Sandy because I live in the desert and a chaser is always good. So those are the four that I think would top my list. Donatino's great because I love softball as well. But that's not one of the sports I signed up for. So I'm kind of hoping. Okay, my goodness, these are taped good. Dun, 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 dun. So three, one. Two. It tells you also, on the little instructions, tells you how to change the zipper pulls on the bags that are set up that way. There's like a little quick release thing. Okay, so let's open up. I'm a surprise kind of day. Happy Easter. <laughs> we got, yay, we got one of our four. We got Sandy with the ribbon, rhythm gymnastics with the ribbon. Yay. Okay, that's one. Two. These are little Ziplocs, so you can reseal them in there. I end up hanging them up. Ah, Surf Star! I am a California girl, so that's always good, even though it wasn't one of my named priorities. But there's six chances to get nine different things. Hopefully, we just don't get a bunch of duplicates. But if we get duplicates, then I got earrings, <laughs> which is cool, too. Uh, oh, mozzarella! We got two out of three were in my top four, so that's good. That's happy stuff. All right, three more. Let's go. Get out. <gasps> panda! Super pandas! We got volleyball and basketball. By the way, in case you're wondering, the sports I signed up for, wheelchair basketball, sitting volleyball, Field, so discus and shot put. Uh, cycling, I don't know. I need a recumbent bike. And archery and shooting. Yeah. I think that's all the ones I signed up for. I have no idea how it's going to go. Just trying to get back in shape. And be a part of something bigger than myself again. <laughs> Lifelong athlete, that's the way I think. I got Donatella! Yes! I got all four! All four of my top four. Whoop, whoop. Yay. And everything else is a bonus. Let's get it. Oh, and a reminder, Super Panda is a chaser. So that's cool. And Chow Chow. So Chow Chow would be the other one. And Donatino. Those are the next two I choose. And we got a first repeat. So Surf Star. What do you think? We could make some little Surf Star earrings. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. And I do have two more orders coming with at least this much stuff. So more to come with Juju B. Also have Vera and Lug on order as well. Wait, do I have Lug? Anyways, more to come. Bye-bye for now. Take care.